What's up guys? Welcome back to your channel. I'm here with another cool video. Today we're talking about the pickup. A lot of times when the spark suddenly cuts out, it's not the CDI and it's not the ignition coil, it's the pickup coil. Let's see what it is, what it does, and how to test it. Let's go. This part is known by different names like a pickup coil, trigger pickup, pulsar coil, crank position sensor, and others. To help you understand better, I've cut the pickup in half so you can see the inside. As you can see, it's made of the coil of wire and a magnetic core. It plays a very important role in the ignition system. Here how it works. The pickup installed close the flywheel with a small gap. Uh, and when the metal tap on the flywheel passes by, it activates the magnetic inside the pickup. Uh, when what happens, the pickup generates a small AC pulse voltage and send it to ignition unit. These metal taps are set up to trigger the pickup just a few degrees before top dead center. It's a timing mark. You can see. But in bike with an SU, uh, the flywheel has a more taps and different angles. But in carburetor bikes, usually have a one and or two taps for the pickups. This tells when the spark should happen. It's very easy to check the pickups is making a signal or not. Let's show you. Method one, the pickup signal test. There are two ways to check the pickup signal. First way, LED test. Connect an LED in series with a 100 ohm resistor. And connect it to the pickup coil in correct polarity. Uh, positive of LED go to the positive of the pickup and negative one go to the negative. That's it. Now when uh, we trigger the pickup the LED should light up. As you saw this pickup is healthy. If it doesn't light up the pickup coil is definitely faulty. Let's check it on the bike. Connect the LED to the pickup wires. The positive go to the positive and the negative go to the negative. Remember you must disconnect the pickup wires from the wiring or CDI. Now I started with kick starter or if you have an electric starter you can use it too. I'm gonna start with the cheeky starter. As you can see, the LEDs light up and it means the pickup is healthy. Second way, voltage test. The next method is a voltage test of pickup with a multimeter. Set your multimeter to AC voltage in less than 3 volt range. And connect the props to the pickup coil wires. That's it. Turn on the multimeter. AC voltage. Now when the pickup is triggered, uh, it should generate a small voltage. If you uh, haven't any voltage, the pickup is dead. If your multimeter has a PK hold features, you can use it to see the maximum voltage generated by the pickups. Look, turn the PK hold features.
The voltage produced by pickup coil is usually below 2 volt. Depend on the engine RPM. Let's show you on the bike. This time connect the pickup wires back to the wiring and attach the multimeter in parallel with the pickup's wire. Open the ignition switch and start to run the engine. You should see a voltage generated by pickup between 0.3 and 1.5 volts depend on the RPM of engines. If you only get voltage at high RPM, uh, the gap between pickup and flywheel is too large. Uh, use a 0.3 to a 0.5 millimeter filler gauge to adjust the gap. See? Use the filler gauge. That's it. Perfect. These methods are basic test. For the final test, there is one more left. I show in the next. Stay with me. If you've enjoyed the video so far, make sure to like it and share it with your friends. If you're not subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the next videos. Thanks. We know the pickup is type of a coil, so it has a resistance. By measuring the pickup coil resistance, you can tell it's healthy or not. But there's one important point you need to attention to. Let's show you. Second method, measuring the pickup resistance. To measure the pickup resistance, we need a multimeter. Set the multimeter to ohm setting. If it's manual range, set it between 100 and 1 kilo ohm. Turn on the multimeter. Now we must disconnect the pickup wire from the wiring. That's it. Now touch the multimeter prop to the pickup wires. Some professional multimeters may also detect the resistance of your hands, uh, so it's better to use a small clips like this. You should see a resistance value on the screen. Most common motorcycle, the pickup resistance is usually between 100 and 250 ohms. However, under some bikes, it can go up to the 400 ohms, uh, which is usually specified in the service manual. If the resistance is zero, or too low, or too high, uh, the pickup coil is faulty. But there is an important point. We measured the pickup resistance when the engine was completely cold. Usually, when the engine gets hot, a bad pickup starts to show problems and its resistance may go up or down. To understand this better, uh, I show you a sample method to check this. This pickup is from a Suzuki trail bike. After running for about uh, 50 minutes, the engine would completely shut off and I replace it. First, let's check its resistance value. As you can see, the resistance value is early higher than normal, uh, even when it's cold. Now I'll slowly heat it up using a heat gun to see what happened. Let's see. Oh my god! 
as you can see the resistance value is changing That's it. Stop. As you saw, when it got hot, the peak of resistance went out of the normal range and finally stopped. Uh, that means the pickup is faulty. But remember, don't heat it up too much. Uh, it can melt. Here I have a another pickup that is healthy. Uh, let's check its resistance value first. As you can see, the resistance value is normal when it's cold. Now let's heat it up and see what happens. As you can see, even after hitting, uh, it is stayed in a normal range and didn't change much. So it's reliable. To know the exact normal resistance range for your motorcycle pickups, you can check the service manual of your bikes. You can find it in online. Thanks for watching. What you saw today is just the beginning. There's a lot more coming. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss the next project. Trust me, you won't want to miss it.